Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's May 13th, 2023. I'm down by Pond 7. This is the pond that we finished, uh, you know, expanding uh, last fall and putting the marginal zone around. Now it's time to put some of the, uh, the excess bare root plants into the ground around here. Uh, the other day I did come down here and I planted several English oak trees. So this is one of the English oak trees. It was a real hassle <laughs> digging. I have piles of stone over there. Uh, so today I decided since I don't want to take much time for two reasons uh, to get these plants into the ground. One, they're bare root. It's hot and dry. I want to get them uh, into the soil, get them watered. I'll use some of the water from the pond here. And uh, and also the other re reason is the goslings, the, the geese, Canada geese up there, if, uh, two of them have sets of babies and they love being down here. So they want to get down here as well. So in here today, we're putting some Japanese fantail pussy willows. So Japanese fantail pussy willow. This is one of the bare root gooseberry plants we dug up. English oak, another Japanese fantail pussy willow. They'll get to be about, I guess, eight to 12 feet tall and about as wide. So that'll require some pruning until the English oaks really get up there. Another uh, gooseberry. Uh, another gooseberry, another Japanese fantail. Uh, oh, this is an oak I transplanted twice before down when I was working by the beaver pond. Uh, it was in danger of getting destroyed from me working and dragging the trees around. So I transplanted it off to an edge and then I brought it up here, I think last week. And I, hey, it might survive. Another English oak. In here we'll go a thornless blackberry plant, a thornless blackberry plant, gooseberry, another English oak, thornless blackberry plant, another English oak. Uh, I may put another gooseberry there, I'm not sure yet, or a thornless blackberry. Another Japanese fantail pussy will, Japanese fantail pussy will, and Japanese fantail pussy will. So that's what we're trying to accomplish right off the bat, get these in. I did get Mini-Me, um, these uh, Kubota B2601, got a bucket of compost there. That still has some moisture in it. I dig into the pile and stir it up some. And uh, so we'll see what we can get done. Here we go.
Okay, I just finished this morning's work over here with these plants that I wanted to transplant. So we'll just review those. Really helps with this bony bony ground using uh, Elon, the Takushi TB290. So over here, one of the uh, Japanese uh, pussy willows here. Now what, what I will do is I'll come out and put some stakes in here later in the next couple of days. A uh, gooseberry, and these are thorny, but they are very sweet, delicious. The English walnut, another uh, Japanese pussy willow here. A uh, gooseberry. This branch sticking out of the ground is a blueberry plant. I just pruned off some of the, the flowers that would produce berries. And what I'm hoping for is some new shoots will shoot up out of the ground here later on and then I'll prune off these ones that are folded over. Otherwise I have plenty of the uh, native uh, blueberry plants to, to transplant around here. Another gooseberry plant, the uh, pussy willow, thornless blackberry, English oak, did I say oak before? These are all oaks. Thornless blackberry, gooseberry, English oak, gooseberry, English oak, gooseberry, pussy willow, pussy willow, pussy willow. So this will give some uh, habitat and windbreak for the uh, Pond 7 back here. Later on in the marginal area, you can probably see it's a lighter color here, remember it gets pretty deep out there. But the marginal area, if this holds water, we'll end up putting lily pads and other marginal uh, plants that will do fine right in here. So transplant them from some of our other uh, pond systems. Lots of rocks already took up one bucket down to the new road down and back. and. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here now so that the geese, geese have been all upset that I've been down here working. There are two new sets of babies uh, with two uh, geese. And then we have two more pairs uh, down and back with babies and about four pairs up over here that don't have babies. So I don't know if they actually will have babies this season. So I'm out of here. If you found this video of value, uh, please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And by all means, folks, take good care of yourselves and stay safe. Bye-bye now.